Bobby roll call, please. Commitment Benson. Here. Committee Woman Hatfield. Here. Committee Man Rodriguez. Here. Deputy Mayor Ryan. Here, and also stating for the record that I need to leave the meeting at 8 p.m. tonight. Thank you. Mayor Lopaka. Here. Professional Salsa President Primo Cruz Township Solicitor, Bobby Quinn Township Clerk, Brian Sick. Thank you, Bobby. We'll now move on to the approval of the regular minutes for the meeting of May 19, 2022. I have a motion to approve. Senator Bryan. Second. Bobby Roll Call, please. Committee Man Benson. Yes. Committee Woman Hatfield. Yes. Committee Man Rodriguez. Yes. Deputy Mayor Ryan. Yes. Mayor Lopaka. Yes. We now move on to the approval of the executive session minutes for the meeting of May 19, 2022. Do I have a motion to approve? Senator Bryan. Second, Rodriguez. Bobby Roll Call, please. Committee Man Benson. Committee Woman Hatfield? Yes. Committee Man Rodriguez? Yes. Deputy Mayor Ryan? Yes. Mayor Lamont? Yes. We now have the approval of the special minutes for the meeting of June 11, 2022. Do I have a motion to approve? Senator Ryan. Second. Bobby Roll Call, please. Committee Man Benson? Yes. Committee Woman Hatfield? Yes. Committee Man Rodriguez? Yes. Deputy Mayor Ryan? Yes. Mayor Lamont? Yes. And finally, we have the approval of the special executive session minutes for the meeting of June 11, 2022. Do I have a motion to approve? Senator Ryan. Committee Man Benson? Yes. Committee Woman Hatfield? Yes. Committee Man Rodriguez? Yes. Deputy Mayor Ryan? Yes. And Mayor LeBlanc? Yes. Uh, so we now move on to the portion of the agenda that I think everyone is here for. And that is the retirement of our beloved police chief, Nicholas Cavito, after 25 remarkable years of service. Uh, we have several individuals who are going to be making presentations this evening. Uh, the first was going to be from Congressman Kim's office. I know his staff is on her way, but she's not in the room yet. So um, I would also like to mention that we were supposed to have a presentation from Assemblyman Brandon Umba of the 8th Legislative District. Unfortunately, the uh, issues that are plaguing our airlines in this country right now with many canceled flights have affected him as well, and he was unable to be here, and he sends his apologies. Uh, so we're going to move on to <coughs> The, our representative of the Lumberton County Police Department, our officer in charge, Lieutenant Anthony Nichols. Thank you, Mayor. What can I say? Chief Pedito, 25 plus years, right? Law enforcement, Lumberton Township, born and raised here. Loyal, dedicated to the service to the community, to the notice. Um, everybody appreciates what you've done. What you continue to do for this community, just because you're retiring, you're still a member of this community. I want you to know that. Uh, the things that you've done for the police department during your 25 years are, are commendable. Uh, we appreciate all that you've done. You rose through the ranks. I remember the two of us standing across the street in the old Nike days when we got hired together, right? And we started the police academy. And I was an unknown kid to you, you were unknown to me. And uh, we started in this crazy world. If I start to tear up, it's not because I'm upset that the Chief's leaving, it's because I still have that OC pepper spray in my eyes from 1998 when he sprayed me. But that's a, a funny story I'll let the Chief tell you at some other time, excuse me. Um, but I'm here to tell you I thank you for your service. On behalf of the Police Department, the members that are present here that retired before us, and the members that are, that are going to be here in the future, uh, you left big shoes for all of us to fill. You led us through a pandemic, a worldwide pandemic. That wasn't easy. It wasn't an easy task. Um, I've always looked up to you. I'll continue to look up to you, come to you for advice, and uh, find out what your, your greatest uh, craft beer tastings might be, so you can give me advice on that. Uh, we do get to share uh, those things. Um, not only have I got to know you professionally, I've got to know you personally, you and your family, and I appreciate that, that invite into your heart. Um, it's tough to see you go. We all know when it's time to go, but do we really want to go? I'm not sure. Um, all I know is that I, I have a, a, a tough hole to fill to keep this place moving forward like you did. Um, but due to your, your guidance uh, through the years, um, Chief, you served as a patrol officer, you were a field training officer, you were an EMT, you were a detective, you were a corporal, you were a sergeant, you were a lieutenant, and finally you made the chief of police. That's a big accomplishment. It really is. And uh, I know that the community, the department, we all look up to you. So can you come up here? I'd like to give you something. Oh. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank 
behalf of the Lower Newton Township Police Department, we're honoring 25 years of service to Nicholas C. Pavito, Chief of Police. Thank you for your loyal and dedicated service to Lumberton Township Police Department, the community of Lumberton Township. Congratulations on your retirement. Lumberton Township Police Department, July 1st, 2022. you with the retirement chief badge from Lumberton Township. I know this is the important stuff. <laughs> chief, thank you again. Thank you, Lieutenant Nichols. I'd now like to invite up uh, Antoinette Miles from the Office of Congress and Andy Kim for a special presentation on behalf of so much, uh, Mayor Lovato, Deputy Mayor and Council. It's such a pleasure to be here tonight on behalf of Congressman Andy Kim on this momentous occasion. Uh, Chief, congratulations on your retirement. Thank you on behalf of Congressman Andy Kim for stepping up time and time again just to be of service to this community. Um, it means a lot to us to know that we have uh, such a shining example of public service right here in our congressional district. Yeah, again, maybe I'm a little Russian to get here. <laughs> um, but what, I, what I'd like to say on behalf of the congressman is that it's just not always about public service. You know that when you serve, it means the entire family serves. So thank you to your family as well for all that they have done. And just being a shining example for all of the men and women here in the police department that stand in the back of this room. And um, on behalf of the congressman, I'd like to present two things. So today, yeah, come on up. <laughs> come on up. So today I have for you a congressional uh, certificate of recognition, uh, which reads, uh, presented to Chief Nicholas Fedito, Chief of Police, Lumberton Township Police Department, in celebration of your retirement from the Lumberton Township the Police Department for many years of exemplary service. Thank you and, and for your tireless efforts and ceaseless dedication to the community. And that is signed Andy Kim, Member of Congress, 3rd District, New Jersey, June 23rd, 2022. Again, just in being a shining example, we would like to present a United States flag to you that's been flown over the United States Capitol. Here's a citation for this one too. <laughs> so this one again is a certificate of recognition, um, just acknowledging that this flag has been flown over the United States Capitol. Um, and presented in dedication of Nicholas Fedito on this day.
the shows we record it from. The professionalism, no matter what happens, anytime of night. <clears throat> I said, hey, I see you and your guys running around my house. He said, what's wrong? I said, nothing. You're just running around my house, and I bet you appreciate it. And you took that back and you shared it with me. You know, those are the small things that you appreciate from your township and your employees. And you made sure that you're just trying to make sure you're going to And I want to say thank you. Not only for myself, but for all the time. First of all, thank you for your service to this town. Thank you for being a lifelong friend. I'm glad to have known you all these years. You are a, a great person. I'm glad I know you. I hope you, <clears throat> pardon me, I hope you stay involved in the town. I'd like to still see you around. Um, I'm a prior, so I'm going to stop. Thank you. <laughs> Can you rock again? Uh, He's a prior, too. <laughs> <laughs> I've done like four of these, and I, there's only one that I think that I didn't cry at. That was the uh, reception thing we had. <laughs> so I kind of made that look funny. Uh, I mean, most of you guys have known and heard before, but you know, my first best, best friend growing up in Hollybrook was Nick Dino. Um, the first house that I was allowed to sleep at, besides a cousin house, was at Nikki's house, and same vice versa. And it, it's because of our moms that got together. The who's house she was sleep at? And they got together and they talked. And my mom had said, if my son acts up, you have permission to smack him. <laughs> and his mom followed, like, yeah, same thing. And from that point on, we're like, oh, no, he's going to be okay over there. And uh, two knuckleheads running through the, the streets of Hollybrook with dreams and aspirations. And uh, I don't know if this was a dream of yours. I don't remember hearing this. And I don't know where we are now. It's not. Not what we talked about on the streets of Hollywood. And then, uh, but that's how I'm proud I am of you and everything you all. We love this town. We always have. But you've gone above and beyond to show that love and that appreciation for this town, just like I have. I just, I'll never accomplish as much as have you. And that's why my pride, my proudness for you just beams whenever I talk about you and I explain who you are. And that my best friends, the police chief of Lawrence. And sometimes you try to take examples like, hey, let me just call my buddy. But you're always there to answer a text. You're always there to answer uh, uh, any kind of questions. When your mom has, I reached out to you. Uh, our mothers were important to us. But when my mom just passed away too, you were right there for me. I know they have well that they are arm in arm right now, so proud of you. It's up there in them. And I just, I appreciate you, the man you are, the family you've raised, and the resident, love as a resident that you are, and everything you brought to this, this township. I look forward to seeing your next chapters in life and where you're going to go. And I know you're going to be a part of this community because it's us. It's in our blood. And I, I just want to tell you, my friend, I'm so proud of you. And I'm honored to know you, privileged to be able to be a part of you know, what you brought to this to this, uh, to this township. And I just wish you and your family all the best. Um, and I just want to tell you, uh, I'm so very proud of you. And I thank you for everything you've done for the community. Take care of you guys. Deputy Mayor Ryan. Uh, you all know I was emotional. Oh, Chief. I want to start off, I know I've said this before, and I'll continue to say this. You are the leader that we should all strive to be. You lead with integrity, you're honest, and when things get hard, 
you don't leave. You stay. No matter what task was thrown at you, you stepped up to the plate. And you not only did it, but you did it with a smile on your face. You were constantly around, even though you've lived down the street and around the corner from me for 10 plus years. It wasn't until me coming into this role that I got to fully understand the man that you are. Um, you've been there for me since day one, no matter what. Emotional. <laughs> um, you've helped guide me. You've helped push me through some really tough times that have uh, happened over these last few years. And whether it was a Black Lives Matter march or a community event or state accreditation or a missing child, or an issue at the school, even on your days off, you showed up. That speaks to your character. We all see it. Um, I know I'm extremely grateful for everything you've given back to this town, and I know you, you're like me. You're gonna find something to be involved in. <laughs> you're gonna continue to give back. You're gonna continue to help. But I just want you to know that you are loved, you are respected, and again, you are the leader that we should all strive to be. And I want to thank you for the years you gave to this township. And I know you're not going to be a stranger. Love you, Nick. Please don't be offended if I don't cry. I just, I'm not a crier. <laughs> Inside, I am. Um, when Kareem and Benson and I first embarked on our journey to being township committee members, we knew that we wanted our focus to be on supporting and enhancing the police department. That, that was our priority, that was our passion. And as we campaigned in the middle of a global pandemic and through a summer that was filled with protests and marches and calls to action after the death of George Floyd and an entire nation was casting their eyes on law enforcement agencies and asking themselves, what do we want law enforcement to look like and act like? What do we want to be different? And Terrence and I knew that our, our mission was something that much more critical and more important and probably a lot more difficult. And then we got here and we got to work with you. And you had everything all squared away. There was nothing that we needed to tell you about community policing or you know, connecting the members of your department with the members of our community because you were already doing it. Um, your leadership by example, others have already talked about the professionalism of every member of the department. And, you know, with pride, I think that we, to a man, to a woman, have the absolute best department anywhere, and the best people anywhere. Um, and that's because of you. You know, sometimes when you're in government, in public service, in law enforcement for a long time, there are people who achieve a certain rank, a certain title, and allow that rank to overtake who they are as a person, and they forget who they are and who they came from. And that has never been true for you, not even for one second. Uh, you were always about the department, the town, the greater good, and what your legacy would be, and what this department would look like after you were gone. It wasn't just about why you wear the uniform. You genuinely care about everyone who wears this uniform forever and ever. And I can't tell you what it meant to me as a new mayor, as a new elected official, embarking on something that was scary for me at times to have you there. Um, and not to be forgotten too is your incredible leadership and how you stepped up for us uh, to serve not only as our police chief but also as our business administrator uh, for a good chunk of last year and took your leadership skills to a whole new level and just kept the trains running on time as well or better than they'd ever been run before. Um, and I can't thank you enough for that because that was huge. Now I'm going to start crying. Okay. So, now um, I'm going to invite the committee to come on down. We have some things to present to you. recognition of 25 years of service in appreciation of your integrity and dedicated service to the Lumberton Township Police Department and to the residents of Lumberton Township 
the Lumberton Township Committee extends their sincere appreciation and thanks for your many years of loyalty, sacrifice, and tireless work ethic, and best wishes in your future endeavors. Oh, and uh, so we heard through the grapevine that you might like the occasional craft beer. And since you're going to have a lot more time now on your hands <laughs> to travel the state to all the amazing breweries we have in New Jersey, uh, we thought you needed something to keep that beer fresh and cold while you're driving around. And yes, it's a little heavy because we got you started with some <laughs> brews already. Um, uh, you know, I'm going to actually make a motion right now to, uh, <laughs> to allow the chief to enjoy his retirement gift now while we're here. <laughs> but congratulations and enjoy. Nikki, you just. That's all right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> He's allowed to. I'm sure he took a better one than me. Anyway. <laughs> pages, but Deputy Mayor Ryan's got to be out of here by 8, so I'll talk yeah. fast. Uh, thank you for all the wonderful things that have been said tonight. Uh, none of my accomplishments could have been possible without everyone who's standing in the back. Um, I thank the committee for all your support. I love this job. I already miss it. It's not even July 1st. Um, I wish I could do it forever. Uh, the one thing I'm going to miss the most <laughs> is the ability to help people. Understand, when we placed our hand on the Bible and swore to uphold the law, we were given more than a job. We were given more than a paycheck. We were given power. Power to do what is right and to help people. I'm truly going to miss the phone calls from friends, residents who know me, and friends of friends who needed help and trusted that I could help them. You officers have that power. Use it to help people and make the world a better place. Don't get caught chasing the dollar, because in the end, people aren't going to remember how much you made. They're going to remember how much you helped them. I'd like to thank Mayor LaQuaca and the committee for their belief and trust in me. When they requested I sit on the land board, they named me acting administrator. Thank you for believing in me. I'm proud of all the progress we made. When I was on that land board, I had no idea what I was doing. Kathy, thank you. I don't want to give this person a title because there's so much more. My time as acting administrator bothered me with my rock. You are amazing at what you do for this town and what you do that people don't even see is commendable. You always make sure all the deadlines are met. Like you follow up with email after email after email until they are. <laughs> you go out of your way to make everyone here feel special, from bringing in donuts in the morning, having going away parties, to placing an illegal amount of glitter in your birthday party. <laughs> too, you're awesome. I thank you, and you will always have a special place in my heart. I'd like to thank Tommy Shover. Tommy. Tommy. Bob, Keith, Kenny, Willie, Skeeter, Garrett, all the Public Works Department for all they do for us. Every event we ever had, they were there to support us in any way we need them. Tommy, we appreciated all the help you did for the police department, from shelf making to moving furniture, we appreciate you. Bob and Keith, you always made sure the police department fleet was up and running, thank you. Thank you to Chief Wood and Lumberton EMS for starting the training on the rescue task force with the police department. We were the first police department in Burlington County to do this training. A true testament of our dedication and commitment to our community. Chief Wood was also a huge factor in the township coming out, coming out of the pandemic, and she always made sure we had the supplies to keep our officers safe. 
I know officers still call her 24-7 with health-related questions. Thank you for always taking care of them. My dedication to Lumberton Township started way back in 1991 when I joined the Lumberton Township Fire Department. Many of you may not know, but I know you do. Back then, we had a second fire station, <coughs> Station 132. We did public works. And the guys don't work public works would answer fire calls in the daytime. I'm still a blue lighter at heart. And I appreciate everything our fire department does for our police department township. Chief Romano, your support and support of your members is truly appreciated. We thank you. I thank you. It's nice to see my first best friend, comedian Robert Rodriguez, sitting here. I grew up in your house and with your family, like everybody knows now. It's where I learned I'm not a good basketball player. But your dad kept me on the team. We went to our first concert together with your mom. 1984, Van Halen. Was anybody born in 1984? Hey, probably not. Probably not. Maybe when we came to you have a huge heart. The original OG of Lumberton Township. When Hollywood Lumberton Glenville was the big part of the town, right? I'm happy to call you my friend, and thank you for all your support over the years. Committeeman Benson, we first met on a Special Olympic Torch Run. Thank you for always supporting the police department and recognizing us whenever you see us out doing our job. We appreciate it and I appreciate you recognizing us. Deputy Mayor Ryan, you're a true advocate for the employees and the members of the community. You've started so many programs with every extravaganza you can think of. I think you even made some up. <laughs> to the eighth grade graduation drive-by when we had COVID. When graduations were impossible, you found a way to make our eighth graders feel special. Free Truck Fridays. Tomorrow night, everybody, Free Truck Friday. <laughs> Very hip. Everybody loves it. People come from all over just to come to our Free Truck Friday. Your heart is, no, your heart is always in the right place. And you, my friend, are going to be us. I want to thank all the men and women of the department. These last four years together, we've made history. We came out of the world pandemic when COVID hit. We had three social injustice marches that were peaceful, and members of our department were praised for how they interact with our community members. I'd like to recognize Jay Van Kendrick here, who spoke at one of those marches. I coached him in soccer. I'm proud of all of you and how the community supports us. It's because of how you act out there. We became accredited for the first time ever. We now have the Employee Assistance Program, and I want each of you to take advantage of it. The stigma of we're too strong and tough to let things bother us is over. But like I've said before, it's okay to not be okay. I'll always be here for you, just a phone call away or a knock at the door. I look forward to seeing the department and you succeed in all your future endeavors. I was once in your shoes. No one comes into this job wanting to be mediocre. You wanna grow, personally and professionally. If your goal is to be a canine officer, a detective, a sergeant, a lieutenant, or chief, you can do it. The saying on the back of my baseball card was, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. Believe it in your heart and you will. We had two officers who had a dream. They wanted to be canine officers. They came with a plan, they worked hard, now they're canine officers. I'll always be your number one fan, and I'll always be here to help you in any way I can. My girls, Susie and Nancy, you're not secretaries, you're family. You never say no when we ask you to do more. Nancy, you perfected the schedule. 25 times in a week we'll come to you and ask you to change it, you can do it. Nancy, keep being the negotiator you are. Nibbins is gonna need that. When W.B. Mason says 75, tell him no, we're gonna pay 50. Budget will appreciate that too. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy and Susie. And happy birthday, Frank. Thanks for taking time out of your day to come here. Finally, I saved the best for last. Ah, I just do it all. <laughs> I want to thank my wife, daughter, and son.
You've grown with me and been a part of every promotion and life event I've had with the police department. You understand why you had to be quiet on weekends and holidays, because I was working nights and had to sleep. I appreciate that. I understand why you never wanted to go to a store with me, because you knew someone would see us and want to talk to me. <laughs> I missed events, I missed soccer games, football games, baseball games, and holidays. But you always understood why. Someone needed help and that was my job. This job has been good to us as a family. I'm very proud of the person each of you have become, and I love you dearly. I look forward to not missing anything more and where the future takes us. Testament to the beginning of your public service to the township of Columbus. department. I can't tell you how much your volunteer service meant to our department. You helped up and jumped in at any time that we needed you, not only as a volunteer coach, but any event that I had going on in the township as a patrolman, you stepped in and you actually got your staff to jump in as well. I know there's a lot of new people here that I don't recognize a lot of faces, but there are you know four or five that I do remember. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate that, and I hope you guys continue that as well. Whether or not the township goes into um, the recreation department again, you know, for our volunteers, um, I just want to tell you that it really meant a lot to me. And I also appreciate, as a taxpayer, jumping in as an administrator also as well. So thank you for your support, and I just wanted to let you know that it really meant a lot to me. And Vicki, who I see in the back there too, who are we, you know, we, we both jumped in, we were a team, but I just want to let you know that um, I really, truly appreciated your support. Thank you. Well, that uh, concludes our official celebration recognition of Chief Pedito. So everyone is certainly welcome to stay for the remainder of our committee business, but we won't be offended if you have better things to do. Mayor, if you don't mind, I'm going to take the department and allow me to get pictures of this. Absolutely, as you should. Thank you. Please step forward to the microphone and begin by stating your name and address for the record. 
Seeing none, I will now close the public hearing for the 2020 to introduce the new school budget. Are there any questions or comments from our committee? Uh, seeing none, the public hearing is now closed and we will now consider a resolution to adopt the 2022 municipal budget. Father, please read the title, Resolution 2022-97. Resolution to adopt the municipal budget of the Township of Wilmington, County, County of Wilmington for the fiscal year 2022. Thank you, Father. Do I have a motion to approve? Second, Okay, Father, roll call, please. Committeeman Benson? Yes. Committeewoman Hackle? Yes. Committeeman Chuno? Chuno. Oh, wow, that was a black book. Yeah. <laughs> Committeeman Rodriguez, my apologies. No problem. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Deputy Mayor Ryan? Yeah. Meryl Block? Yes. We now move on to ordinances on second reading. Bob, would you please entitle the ordinance? Ordinance 2022-06, bond ordinance authorizing the completion of various capital improvements in and for the Township of Wilmington, County of Burlington, New Jersey, appropriating the sum of $1,928,500, therefore, authorizing the issuance of general obligation bonds or bond anticipation notes in the Township of Wilmington, County of Burlington, New Jersey, in the aggregate principal amount of up to $1,177,075, making certain determinations and covenants, and authorizing certain related actions in connection with the board Thank you, Bobby. Uh, Mr. Cruz, do you have some questions? Yes, Mayor, um, at this time, Mr. Cruz, I'm just going to ask that the committee um, rescind the introduction of this resolution and reintroduce another ordinance for first reading time. Okay. <clears throat> So I will make a motion to rescind the introdu introduction of Ordinance 2020-2206. I'm making a motion on a second. Second, Ryan. I will call, please. Committeeman Benson? Yes. Committeewoman Hackney? Yes. Committeeman Rodriguez? Yes. Deputy Mayor Ryan? Yes. Mayor Ryan? Yes. Okay, now on to the next ordinance on second reading, Ordinance 2020 Bob, would you please entitle this one? And ordinance amending section 12 of chapter 213, Parks and Recreation, to revise the standards for field signs within the township of Wilmington. Thank you, Bobby. Do I have a motion to adopt the ordinance 2020 Second. Second. Bobby, roll call. Oh, sorry. Okay. This, is, this is an ordinance on second reading. I will now open the public hearing for comments relative to this ordinance only. If anyone from the public wishes to speak, again, only on this ordinance, uh, please come to the microphone and state your name and address for the record. Seeing none, I will now close the public hearing for this ordinance. 20 cables and any questions or comments. Seeing none, Bobby Roll. Committeeman Benson? Yes. Committee Woman Hackett? Yes. Committeeman Rodriguez? Yes. Deputy Mayor Ryan? Yes. Mayor Ryan? Yes. Uh, we now move on to the introduction of ordinances of first reading, uh, ordinance 2022-08. Bobby, you're going to title this one. Ordinance 2022-08. Bond ordinance authorizing the completion of various capital improvements in and for the Township of Wilmington County of Burlington, New Jersey. Appropriating the sum of one million nine hundred twenty-eight thousand five hundred, therefore, authorizing the issuance of general obligation bonds or bond anticipation notes in the Township of Wilmington County of Burlington, New Jersey, in the aggregate principal amount of up to one million one hundred seventy-seven thousand seventy-five dollars, making certain determinations and covenants, and authorizing certain related actions in connection with the board. Thank you, Bobby. Do I have a motion to introduce Ordinance Twenty Twenty Two Hundred Eight? Go ahead, Second. 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 And just to clarify for the record, this is the replacement for the ordinance that we just rescinded. Correct. It is um, substantively the same um, bond ordinance, capital ordinance uh, for 2022. Okay, thank you. Uh, any committee members have any questions or comments? Seeing none, Bobby Roll call, please. Committeeman Benson. Yes. Committee Woman Hackett. Yes. Committeeman Rodriguez. Yes. Deputy Mayor Ryan. Yes. Mayor Clark. Yes. You know, want to consent agenda resolutions. Does anyone wish to remove any items from the consent agenda? Seeing none, Bobby, please entitle these resolutions. Resolution 2022-98, Amendment to Resolution No. 2022-2021, Crossing Guard for the Township of Wilmington for the year 2022. Resolution 2022-99, authorizing the appointment of Isaiah Guzman as police officer for the Township of Wilmington. Resolution 2022-100, authorizing the appointment of Justin Zimboli as police officer for the Township of Wilmington. Resolution 2022-101, authorizing change in custodian of the police department at Cashman. Resolution 2022-102, approval of the 2022-2023 Alcohol Beverage Control ABC License Renewals in the Township of Wilmington, Burlington County, New Jersey. Resolution 2022-103, establishing the Township of Wilmington as a stigma-free zone for mental health awareness. Resolution 2022-104, authorizing a shared services agreement with the Township of Mount Laurel for Chief Financial Officer Services. Resolution 2022-105, appointing Anthony Nippins as Chief of the Wilmington Township Police Department. Resolution 2022-106, authorizing custodian 
custodian signatories of the Township Number 2 accounts. Resolution 2022-107, rejection of big ground maintenance management program. Thank you, Bobby. We've got a motion to approve the consent agenda. Any committee members have any comments or questions? Seeing and hearing none, Bobby Wolf. Commander Benson? Yes. Committee Woman Hackle? Yes. Commander Rodriguez? Yes. Deputy Mayor Ryan? Yes. Mayor Paul? Yes. And congratulations soon to be Chief Nibbins. Thank you. <laughs>
looking for some improvements to or installing a playground in the common area of the country village uh, subdivision on the municipal drive. And I believe that um, if you wish to review the material and provide your suggestions, I didn't know if you want to speak about that or if you had some comments at this time. Uh, I just wanted to say that I know uh, when Commander Benson and I first got on committee, we had residents from uh, Country Village talk to us about basically reinvigorating, reestablishing a playground that used to be there in their neighborhood development playground. And uh, as you noted, Bobby, I know the residents have started reaching out again on that. I know Deputy Mayor Ryan has spoken to some of them. Um, I don't know if anyone has, but you know, as I I think it's certainly something worth exploring. Obviously, the devil's in the details. They need to get a sense from the residents about what they actually want there and what they think that they would actually use, uh, whether it be more geared towards child recreation, adult recreation, or both. Um, so I guess the next step, Bobby, I think I think in the course laws we have with them, I think that's sort of offered for any residents who want to weigh in on this to um, sit down and meet with us, you know, whether it's with our record liaisons, um, with the administrator, with whoever's appropriate, to kind of get a sense of, again, how we sort of hold the neighborhood and then go from there and the feasibility and cost and all that stuff. And then we also have a Do you have a preference at this time if you'd like to have them meet with um, the administrator or I guess rec liaisons or a combination? Uh, I mean, if, if the rec liaisons want to take it on, it's kind of just. Yeah. <clears throat> Recreation liaisons? Yeah, okay. All right. I'll uh, create an email and uh, make that happen. And finally, um, we have a request from the Joint Insurance Fund to come to your meeting on September 1st. Uh, just basically to uh, present to you what they do, what they're able to do, and indicating that the presentation shouldn't take any longer than 15 minutes. They'd like the meeting uh, actually to start by presentation at 7 a.m. Obviously, it will occur after the minutes and so on, but if you're so inclined, I can reach out to them and let them know that time and date is needed. If not, I can, you know, indicate that as well. I know, I think that'd be fine. Okay. I'll see them on letter first on September 1st at uh, 7 p.m. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Um, now we want to uh, the approval for purchases over five thousand dollars for the bills dated June 16, 2022, and the supplemental dated June 23, 2022. I would like to approve. Father Roberts, Committee Man Benson, yes. Committee Woman Hatfield, yes. Committee Man Rodriguez, yes. Deputy Mayor Long, yes. Mayor Clark, yes. Now we want to the regular bill list dated June 16, 2022, and supplemental dated June 23, 2022. I would like to approve. Committee Man Benson? Yes. Committee Woman Hatfield? Yes. Committee Man Rodriguez? Yes. Deputy Mayor Ryan? Yes. Mayor Clark? Abstain on ERI, Millennium Strategies, and yes on the rest. Thank you. Now we'll move on to the public comment portion of the meeting. If you'd like to address the committee tonight, please step forward to the microphone and state your name and address for the record. I'd be disappointed if you didn't come up with this. <laughs> <laughs> First, I want to thank Dr. Jamie Clark for reminding me of. Uh, this uh, meeting has been several years I've been here. Um, you know, I'm just a, a YouTuber who like to explore and let everyone know what's going on in our county. Everybody missed the meeting and uh, uh, uploaded it at 4K at this time to the uh, county. I go to Mount Lowe, I go to the Freeholders, I go to Mount Hardy. My next one will be to go to the Police Commission meeting. I got several questions. What's the status of the affordable home? I, I think the end of the meeting for a drive. I think you have some kind of uh, approval. Um, are you referring to the area on Anderson Road that was discussed yeah. earlier? Yes. Yeah. 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 So um, the town of hasn't moved on that yet. The owner of that land Hmm. And what I appreciate uh, four major people from the Lumber Chain. I said, hey, Lewis, you know, the both chief to say hi to me. With my dinner, I said, oh, I appreciate that amazing. And I, 
uh, Tina Parker, I wonder if I could ask a general question about a Lumpton uh, question, if I, if I can ask. Who is, I don't know if you can respond or not, I'm gonna ask. Who is current the chairman and vice chairman to Lumpton Committee? Are you allowed to say that? Yeah, that, no, we, like we have in different towns, they have different, uh, you know, who's the, uh, who lead, you know, Lamington, who leave in my high, who leave in my lower, who's the committee of the, why right here, the Lamington one? So you're referring to the, like, the Municipal Democratic Committee? Yeah. Oh, okay, uh, so I I was recently reappointed as co-chair along with uh, Randy Burla, who was my co-chair previously. Oh, well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, So people from, from the different township can go to that committee or or that's a conflict. I used to go to my uh, to Hainsport and then you know what I mean? Uh, well I mean we Lewis, we can certainly communicate offline as oh, okay. our official township forum because now we're getting into political stuff. Oh okay, I'm just I mean, I'm certainly happy to answer a question that, that's part of the public record, but if you want to talk about party business, I'm happy to chat with you on Facebook Messenger or Apple Community okay. or whatever you need. And uh, well, if uh, anyone want to uh, the video, the 4K video is over 100% unedited. It should be on less than two hours after I leave from here. I will post it on my YouTube. I'm gonna post it on your main page, and you can you know spread it around. Like I said, I, I hope people who can't come to the meeting to look into my channel and just let everybody knows. And I appreciate it for everyone who didn't let me come to this meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Lewis. And I'm sure Chief Padita will appreciate knowing there's video of his retirement center when all the speeches people made for him, so I'll make sure he sees that. Uh, any other members of the public wishing to make comment this evening? Jamie <coughs> uh, Kendrick, uh, Green Hill Square, 1330. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys for the extension. I apologize for the miscommunication. I just started driving fans at Amazon and didn't realize how much work I was going to take. Um, so I've been busy doing that. Uh, but yeah, we're really focusing right now on trying to find the funds uh, to uh, get donated so we can purchase an off-duty officer. Uh, we were in the talk with some businesses before, but they kind of just got up and dipped on us. So uh, we're trying to figure out some more things, talk to some more people. Uh, so we're definitely working on it. I don't want you guys to think we're not working on it because we want this to happen. Uh, so yeah, thank you again. And uh, yeah, we, I'll be in touch with you guys soon. Thank you. Believe me, we know how difficult it is to pull events together, especially if you're doing it for the first time. There's a lot of moving parts, so uh, we're definitely supportive of what you guys are trying to do, and we're rooting for you to make it to July 7th so we can see your event. It's going to be awesome. Uh, anyone else this evening? All right, seeing none, I'm going to close the public comment portion of the night and move on to committee member comments. And I'm just going to go a little bit out of order and skip Deputy Mayor Ryan since she's got four minutes left before she has to leave. I appreciate that. Um, I just want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Again, I thank Chief Pedito for his years of service to this town. Congratulate uh, Lieutenant Nippins for stepping up into those shoes and carrying on the department. Uh, he's been in that role now for a while, um, took it on and leading and continue to lead, so we thank you for that. Uh, always thank our employees and our first responders for everything that you continue to do. And it wouldn't be me if I didn't tell you all Food Truck Friday. Have a good night, everybody. Commander <laughs> <laughs> Benson. I just want to say thank you uh, for the service of the Chief Bill you know, and definitely thank you to uh, to the new Chief over there. And uh, anything you need, of course,
Steven Rodriguez. Same thing, just thank uh, everyone at Lumberton for um, administration, to first responders, police, fire, uh, public works, uh, everyone that contributes to um, um, the well being of Lumberton. I would thank you all for coming out tonight. Uh, obviously, a little emotional, but they're usually uh, the short time I've been here, these aren't, uh, I don't think these are the way these meetings go, but I think I cried three times already. <laughs> all for this guy here. So uh, I just want to again thank everybody who's, uh, who helps me out here on this board uh, to try to learn and, and try to do the best job possible that I can. Uh, still learning, but I appreciate you guys taking the time to, uh, to, to educate me here. Uh, because obviously here, uh, we all just want to do the best we can for the township of Liberty. Um, no matter what the affiliation is, Democrat, Republican, like I always say, I'm a Born and raised, born and raised in this neighborhood, um, and I love this just as much as all you guys do. And I thank you guys all for everything you guys do for us. I just wanted to say again, uh, you know, congratulations and thank you to Chief Petito for his service to Liberty Township. I know he's not going to go far. I'm sure he's still going to find ways to contribute to the community. And thank you to everyone who came out tonight to celebrate him. It was a wonderful showing to see this room full of people who appreciate him. And of course, a reminder about food truck night tomorrow, which is going to be awesome. And uh, I just want to make a personal thank you to Bobby and to Primo. And Primo, your colleague, Tom. Um, hopefully, it looks like a pretty smooth running show when we're up here on the dais, but sometimes there's chaos behind the scenes. And I just want to say it was a really incredible team effort uh, that was done in the weeks leading up to today and today in particular to get our township budget adopted and our, our, our capital budget. Uh, bond ordinance today, and just thank you for everyone who worked this hard to get our agenda together today so we can uh, celebrate Chief Dito and, and get the people's business done. So, and with that, um, Bobby Caucus agenda. Um, your next meeting is scheduled for July 21st, uh, 7 p.m. Uh, just slated for the agenda off the top of my head is the second reading of the bond ordinance for the Capitol, and I'm sure there will be many more items added. Mr. Cruz, we have you for executive tonight. There is. Um, there, there's two matters um, deal with negotiations um, and then personnel and cash. Okay. Uh, Bobby, would you please read the title of the executive session resolution? Yes, resolution 2022 108, resolution authorizing the executive session pursuant to NJSA 10 colon 4 12, matters related to litigation, personnel matters, negotiation, and attorney client privilege. Thank you. Do I have a motion to go to executive? Senator Rodriguez. Give me a motion and a second there, Roll call, please. Committee yes. Committee Woman Yes. Committee Woman Rodriguez? Yes. Yes. Uh, so we're going to executive at 801 p.m. Uh, Mr. Cruz, how, about how long do you think we're going to